So you lined up 40 grand for yourself in the last three months. I'm fucking, I'm doing it. <laughs> Out of how many listings do you think you got as a result of, or with the assistance of the accelerator? Um, I have them all written up on a board, um, top right. So specifically from the accelerator, probably three of them. I'll, I will say that the just handling myself at the appointment mm -hmm. 100% all of them. kind of knowing what to say so right now I have six active listings sorry five active listings one's coming on soon one's a rental property okay. so just being able to explain to these you know property owners how this all works and get them you know emotionally involved in the transaction that's something we've been working on a lot has certainly helped with all of them Perfect. Adam you got about six listings from the accelerator in the last about we've been working together three four months three months three months okay tell us about like where you're located who you are how old are you how long have you been in the business give us a little bit of background real quick yeah so i'm 26 i live in tampa florida and you know, i started in real estate in 2022 uh around march 2022 uh so two two years and some months in in real estate i was on a team and i was just really selling the team to people mm. um not truly selling myself not truly explaining to these people you know uh how i can help them sell their property properties kind of just going off of the scripts that I was handed which you know worked for some time but uh, it wasn't truly getting me where I wanted to be so let's I go think a we had into that let's go a little into yeah. that because um when we started working together, how much, how many deals have you done when you started with me? Um, maybe 15 or 20, somewhere between 15 and 20. Oh, you were doing, um, I think it was maybe, oh yeah, I, I had some deals uh, over the span of two years. And I mean, no, a lot of it was buyer. Where were you at in your business prior to working with me? I was a buyer's agent. So I had come to you. I think the first time we talked, I had just finished driving you know, two hours to close a buyer and it was way out of my range. I, I did great, killed it on the transaction. And it gave me the kind of the realization that I'm a good agent. I, I know how to handle myself in, in transactions and in tough situations. And I need to really focus on getting the most out of myself. Okay. All right. So you're doing buyers, you're closing deals. What were the struggles that you were facing prior to working together? What were the first um, of life? What were the problems that you were having? So I was living at home. You know, I feel like that's a that's a big part of the reason that I was able to make it through those two years. Just starting off slow and then building that client client base that I needed to work and sell to. And you know, I just wasn't making enough. Uh, I had splits on top of splits. We talked about that, and it was time to. Uh, well, let's no. The audience doesn't know what we talked about. Oh, I, uh -huh. I want them to know, like, what really were Adam Fawcett's struggles prior? Dude, I was, you know, if I if I had to get a tune up on my car's engine, I'd have to borrow money from my parents, and it was like, you know, I was spending so much on gas, driving to the office, driving to see buyers, and showing houses, twenty houses sometimes to a buyer, and. I needed help converting on cold calls mm -hmm. because I was doing lots and lots of cold calls, thousands per month and not, not having any listings to show for it. All of my listings were previous buyers that I was either help flipping, helping them flip properties and things like that. So you had the desire of creating listings and you were dialing thousands of numbers a month. Walk me through that process. How, what were you doing? What was that like? So what was the same thing like? I'm doing now? It was circle prospecting and expires on Mojo. Uh, we had a shared team Mojo account. So I had, you know, one or two hours a day that I could really focus in and dial. And that just wasn't enough. I mean, eventually I did buy my own Mojo uh, with the team and, and, you know, I had to make dials that way because was the issue, the fact that you didn't have enough time on Mojo or like, what was the issue? What were your problems dialing and getting listings at the time it was converting it was backing away from objections not handling them well or not handling them at all and a lot of my calls would just fall flat on their face because i i didn't know how to entrap these people emotionally mm. all i had was you know a, a list of you know qualifications that weren't really even mine at the time. I felt I needed to be more assertive on the phone. Uh, one of your first, you know, critiques of me was that I was asking for business. I wasn't telling people this is how business works. This is how we we do deals, and this is how we get you the best outcome. You were doing, you were cold calling any 
results out of that? How long were you doing that? And what were the results out of that? Um, results from that, you know, I had some, some clients mainly through circle prospecting mm -hmm. that would say, Hey, you know, we're thinking of buying in a year, you know, one year came and I, I was following up with these people and not everyone's going to buy when they say they are plans change. And yeah. I really only had a handful of people that I considered, you know, to be clients and I still work with them. I still follow up, but it wasn't enough to, to close on. So in what span of time did you do X amount of deals in, from cold calling? Um, in two years and two months, I did zero deals from cold calling. Sorry, one deal from cold calling and they cold called me. <laughs> <laughs> and I flipped it around on them. I was like, hey, I'm an agent. I can help you. <laughs> That's crazy. So, okay. So all you I mean like were from buyer leads from the team or how, how where those deal where do those deals come from? Yep, buyer leads from the team and uh, a lot of my own sphere. People I went to high school with, uh, family friends, that kind of stuff and okay. you know, I love them for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. So yeah, now let's get to what made you be like, all right, you know what? Maybe it's time I seek some outside help. Maybe I'll hit up Aaron. What happened there? What was that turning point? The decision that was made, the belief that was held there. I had always kind of planned on an exit strategy from my team um, because I had my broker split. I had my team split. Uh, the team split was uncapped. And it, I knew that, you know, it wasn't sustainable. It was training. It was like agent boot camp uh, for a little while. So I loved it. I learned a lot on that team and I needed to drop the split <laughs> that I was giving to them. So I think I, I hopped on your Instagram live one time and just told you about some of this. What it boiled down to is I wasn't converting pretty much anything. Like I said, two years and no, no cold calling closings. So it was sort of like a wake up experience. Like, Hey, I had told myself in two years, I'm going to leave the team and I haven't yet proven to myself that I can sustain myself mm -hmm. as a single agent. So all the more reason to, to just drop it, try something different. And, um, you know, here we are. What about what I had offered made you think this might work? It was a community being on the discord with, you know, a bunch of other agents who are you know, doing deals. Um, the, the emotional side of it, I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't closing these people emotionally and I wasn't really, I was forming a relationship with them somehow, but it wasn't something that they felt they had to obtain. And I knew that, you know, just from hearing you talk and I, I was listening to your Mojo tutorials all since I started in real estate, I think before I even started cold calling, I was, you know, Hey, what's, what's Mojo and how can I use this? Okay. Just hearing you close people and talk a certain way, talk a little bit more assertively. Like I said, um, you yeah. know, I figured I want to, I want to learn how this works. And then you brought up the framework, the framework of conversion. Okay. So now speaking of what has happened since we've started working together, like what about you have you noticed changed? Because I see you putting a lot of work work in. You're on Discord pretty yeah. much every day, like yeah. almost all day. I see you in the role play rooms like a lot. You know, what has yeah. changed about you, about the way you communicate, about the way you do things that has um, so six listings in this three months we've been working together? I dropped a lot of those limiting beliefs that, you know, I feel might have been holding me back, uh, you know, that cold calling is, is a waste of time and that's. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get deals through word of mouth and through, you know, paid advertising and things like that. Zillow leads, uh -huh. uh, which I've never tried. And I'm happy I haven't tried that. I pretty much picked up and, and changed my entire life. I like, I, I moved out, you know, now I'm running my own business. I got through all the, all the startups of, you know, creating my signs. I think it was a, it was a nice experience to just be in charge of everything rather than, you know, wait on the team's instruction or, um, what else I can, you know, think of to draw a business. So just being in control of my commission. Mm -hmm. And uh, aside from that, I'm not driving like at all. Like I'll, dr I'll get in my car twice a week. I'm yeah, a total homebody. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to put all these useless miles on my car. And I think one year I paid over a thousand dollars in tolls to get to work that's crazy yeah wow okay all right cool so now you're not a part of the team you're not paying team splits you're not depending on the buyer leads which is split after split you're in control of your business how has that like changed your life how has um it you so yeah you know we'll see it's kind of it's, it's kind of still early on to uh to see but 
confidence through the roof. Um, what a tribute! I think just uh, just that you know I'm I'm fucking I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm I'm able to get on the phone and, and you know actually get somewhere. Yeah. Whereas before, I think I had kind of closed off the idea that hey, after this call, I can go on a listing appointment and get paid. Yeah. Now I have all that ready. It's you know saved in a file on my computer. I can go on a listing appointment you know in half an hour if I need to. Nice. <laughs> okay, that's good. So, I remember when. It, um, yeah, it, it got me up off my ass, and it it, it was a, the kick in the butt that I needed mm. to kind of be like, "Hey, you're in control now, and you got to be in control if you want to keep doing this." <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah, it's a big you know? change of pace from like being on a team. You're basically a buyer slave when you're on a team. Yeah, I remember one of the first screenshots that I've ever like kept of you was I just set up an appointment using the framework. Wow, I've been doing this wrong for so long. Yeah, and that, that was like stuck in what tell me about what you were realizing at that point i think that was my second day dialing on the discord uh -huh. and it was kind of just like you know it was my everyday morning routine but i deviated from the script that i was using before and instead i had something of value mm -hmm. like i was able to find out hey this guy you know he's his wife his, he and his wife aren't happy with this house and they know where else they want to move so you know the framework's problem motivation i was able to find out you know the details about their move why they thought it was a problem where they were living now and kind of sped things up rather than the typical cold call of hey how you doing adam fawcett team you know here's what i do want, want to go on a listing appointment <laughs> no i don't want to do that <laughs> me neither what has it been like uh working with me what has this accelerator call been like like what were your first yeah. impressions on the call what what was your first like eye-opening thing like tell me about um tell me about your experience here first off i think it was just like a sense of community mm -hmm. you know uh, you told me about a lot of the, the ways that we had a similar start in real estate. You had, you know, bounced around a few different brokerages. Even more so, I could just hop in the Discord any time of the day and be dialing with other people. And it's like, I, I joke with people now, like, this is my office. I'm, I'm on Discord and there's, you know, six other people from California and Washington. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they think it's crazy. And, and the other agents that, you know, I still talk to from, you know, past transactions and past, you know, team partnerships. They're like, hey, this is this is crazy what you're doing. Um, you know, how'd you do it? And you know, I have some, I have an easy way to tell them. This is what I do. You know, okay, <laughs> we gotta bring them in here, dude. Get them in the downline. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm working on it. <laughs> all right. What's the like total GCI of ever, all the the six transactions worth? so far so i had it calculated out and then i got another listing sign today so we'll have to see how that changes but it was That's um sick. yep nice six total nice. one's a rental total it's a uh, it's what was it 1.4 okay um across yeah i guess now it's 1.6 1.62 with all the listings that i have now not including the rental mm -hmm. okay do you know what the gross commission on that would be? My, my average price point right now is about 300 to 325. Uh -huh. And my average commission on each of those is about two and a half. Okay. So, um, I'll, 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 1. 1. 6. One, one. Two okay. So you lined up 40 grand for yourself in the last three months where for in two years you didn't take a listing, right? Adam, what would you say to wrap things off? Like what would you say as a piece of advice to a new agent looking to take more listings in his business? Put your head down, work at it. And you know, in all, all of my listings, I've had someone that I can go to for advice. Um, you know, a lot of the times in discord, I'll just unmute and say, Hey, you know, I have a question. Who else has dealt with this before? Oh, I have everyone. Everyone's done deals and unique deals, uh, in the, in the chat. Mm. So it's kind of like, you know, find just what works for you and find a community that you're not like afraid to, to be around. Like I love being in the discord cause you know, all you guys are, you know, we're all, we're, I think I've said it before. We're all just dudes chilling in there. And it's like, it's a really cool, you know, no pressure, but do the, do your work because you want to get paid. Right. That's why you're here. Yeah. It's a, it's a cool environment. Something that I wasn't used to, but I'm totally, you know, used to and I'm vibing with it now. Good, I'm glad. Yeah. All right. And, and lastly, if someone was thinking about considering about joining the accelerator, what would you tell them? Um, pay for knowledge um, before you, you know, pay for anything else. Uh, that knowledge is going to give you the opportunity to create wealth yourself and on your own terms rather than depending on someone else to give it to you. So 
the knowledge is um, it's priceless, really, because that'll set up my whole future. I, I won't stop after you know I get a few listings. I'll, I'll keep using the framework, you know, as it should be, and you know, psychologically getting these people to uh, to agree on uh, on listings with me. Yeah, I mean, if if everything closes out, you've ten extra investment in three months, so that's pretty cool. Well, yeah. dude, where can people find you? You can find me here in Tampa, Florida. No, I'm kidding. You can find me on um, what is it? Instagram Realty Redhead. Okay. That's going to change. That is a uh, that's a temporary Instagram oh, you handle. Better you better change it right now so I can edit in what the actual thing is. Oh shoot, you're right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Mr. Mr. Adam Fawcett. Mr. Adam Fawcett. Okay. Mr. Adam Fawcett on Instagram, and it's um I don't know. You can find me in the Discord. I'm always I'm always in there dialing. If you're a part of the accelerator, I'll, I'll see you guys on the, the Discord. Well, thanks for doing this, Adam. I, I appreciate it. Thank you.